election ahead of the NDC parliamentary primaries on Saturday. Now, one major concern surrounding the upcoming NDC primaries to be held across uh, the various constituencies this Saturday is security and crowd control. Uh, let's get on the phone lines now and speak to the public relations office of the Ghana Police Service, uh, Superintendent Sevas Arthur. Uh, Sevas, thank you very much for your time. Uh, first of all, how prepared is the Ghana Police to handle uh, Saturday's uh, primaries across the country? Yeah, thank you. Let me say just in the statement that the police is adequately prepared. We are set. How many men and women are you deploying? Uh, we are deploying as many men as possible and us will make it possible for us to handle the situation. We are deploying quite a lot of police officers because the character of the election itself is a mini general election. That is the impression that has been created, that we are going to vote in all the 275 constituencies. We are not going to have delegates going to be confined to a place like the Kumasi Sports Stadium or the Great Hall whereby security concerns will also be limited. But in this case, we are going to have a mini general election where we are going to have a uh, voting at, or, uh, yes, at 7,795 uh, police stations. And for that matter, there is the need for extensive police deployment, which uh, we are set to do. It is widely expected that uh, owing to the expansion of the Electoral College by most of the political parties, especially the uh, ruling National Democratic Congress, we're going to have a lot more uh, supporters uh, going to the polling stations to cast their ballots. Is the police adequately resourced to handle any eventualities that occur that day? We are adequately resourced. Uh, we have done it before. We have done it during general elections where the, la the numbers are very large. Uh, several times, not once, not twice, but several times. We have done it for their respective political parties. We finished doing it for the NPP not long ago, where they also do, did a kind of a, a wider uh, voting uh, system and were able to secure the, the process and the entire country. We are going to be able to do it again, and that's what we are bent on doing, and that is what we are soliciting and entreating the general public to support the police to do. My final question, uh, Superintendent Sivas Arthur, uh, a lot of the times during uh, elections you have uh, rowdy supporters, Irish youth who may want to disrupt activities at the various polling stations. Uh, do you have a, a word of caution to them ahead of Saturday's elections? Yeah, indeed. It will not be worth our thoughts as a police institution if uh, we don't identify some of these uh, problems and challenges. In fact, you have identified more than you have even mentioned about... Uh, 15 challenges that are likely to we are likely to face and I can assure you that uh, having identified them we have put measures in place to deal with them should they come up uh, we we also count on Ghanaians their, their sense of responsibility their sense of understanding which has seen us through uh, several elections over the years and uh, with God's support uh, I can assure you that uh, we are poised to deliver the election peacefully. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much, uh, Public Relations Office of the Ghana Police Service, Superintendent Sefas Atha.